everyone welcome to soul tide so we have here a first impression of the game starting with the dolls so the, the these are your characters for the game um character design pretty much pretty much um kind of unique kind of the same it's not all a unique design in terms of your characters like for example asuna i, I think i've seen her somewhere so um pretty much um gonna give character design around a 7 out of 10 for this one so not really one of the most unique designs that i've seen but also good enough for most players out there so i do have um, gawana which is kind of my favorite so these are exceptional designs guys um exceptional designs apart from the others which are so basic like for example for andrea she looks like a gundam unit so <laughs> again i'm giving the the character designs around a seven out of ten but uh, let's take a look at one of um, the, the the dolls here like for example freesia freesia and her other do other counterparts the dolls can be customized so there there is a two you know there are two sets here of skills that you can choose from there is one that is your basic skill which is she's going to be a defender the other one is going to be somewhat more of a attacker type of kit okay so again you could unlock this at level 15 and at level 20 you can mix and match from both already so um, customization is really high in this game really high within the characters i'll give this a 9 out of 10 for customization or probably a 10 um it's really rare that you can customize characters um in usual mobile games or gacha games so i'm gonna give this a 10 that's a final decision so again I i've seen the customization and uh, you can you can almost put anybody in in different positions so again uh it's going to be you know a it's going to be a very flexible lineup for you okay so as you can see here there are only a few right now um characters for the game let's go to squad and let's see what my squad is so this is my squad out of as of the moment and if you can notice here there is a positioning here for your squad you have rear you can place that uh, that uh, character in the front or the rear i'll i'll show you guys a kind of uh, my my what do you call this my reaction to this later during the battle on my reactions to if this is relevant or not okay but uh, let's go through some of the verses here let's go to her so your verses guys is like um these are like skill cards that you can equip to your um characters so they give you stat bonuses some of them give you like for example let's go here um i have higher level verses here so the verses here are kind of more complex it has a passive skill and trait and um, the better versus you have or skill cards then the better your characters will be so highly customizable again characters um i enjoy the customization for this game and uh let's go through the story or the battle system for this game so let's move through at least go to the story here in delve you have i just unlocked trials here these are just for farming uh, materials but your um, activity or your story mode will really be the meat of this game so let's do another entry for this one so that you can see at least um, what or how each story is going to look like so as you can see here, um, these are really around um, uh, level two stories, which are kinda, kinda puzzle looking. So you have to go through the map, and um, this is basically your forest here. These are your monsters. These are your gems. So you have to go through the forest. You cannot pass 
on some of the forest. That is why you have to weave your, you know, you you have to weave through the the maze here. So let's say, for example, if you go through the wrong forest, then you go back to start. So that is that is actually it, it's 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 basically a puzzle quest in terms of the story. So you just have to pick the best um, area in which you could go through. Um, let's go through this uh, monster here and see if um, we could battle that monster. So as you go to the monster, let's go through a, um, a mode here for story. So um, I'm gonna, gonna put this at one. Just gonna, just gonna slow down this battle for you guys. Um, initially, you'll be doing manual for what you call this for the battles, but as you progress, you'll be unlocking auto. The problem with with that one is, I can't seem to find the the mode going back to manual mode. So that is actually my my thing here. So although although this battle is going to be quick with auto. You will be needing that manual mode re, um, uh, going through bosses. Okay, so as you can see, there uh, another clear for me. Let's go through this uh, monster over here. Let's go back to where we are running through. So take a look at the map. So as you can see here, it highlights the white lines that you have run through already. So that if you reset you kind of have a guide on where up to where you can step on and proceed to the next monster down there so let's uh try this out so in terms of the battle system um as you can see there it's really a problem in going from auto to manual mode um, you more or, le more or less need that in terms of the bosses. But take a look at this battle system. So it's a dungeon type. Um, my only gripe here is that I wish that these girls were not in a square. That they were here, down here. And also, as you can see there, even if you, if, even if you assign them as a defender, when that battle comes, you don't know who the defender is. Because all of them are in the same line. The defenders are not uh, placed in front. So th that is basically what I don't uh, really, really like about the battle system. Let's go for another boss here. The one that's up there. Let's go for that boss and see if we can take him down. So, okay. So let's go. No, can't go through. So it's 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 really the the good thing about the puzzle stages. Be, it it's it challenges you, it challenges you a bit in terms of where to go, uh, which you know how to solve a specific puzzles. And usually in other stages, th there are different puzzles. So let's try this out and let's you know i'd like you to see again what i mean so as you can see here if you if you assign um characters in the front there is no indicator here who is at the front who is at the back so again the battle system the, the puzzle in the battle system before the battle system is good but this one i think is a bit needs a bit of work it it's i for me i think i i don't i don't really enjoy it a lot that is actually my only gripe for this game. So again, um, I, I wish they, they 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 would do without the um, the squares on the characters and just put them there and probably put somebody in front at the back to identify who is it assigned at the front, the back. So that is it for your story. It's um, the battle system is quite unique. The puzzle system as well. For your currency, for um, let's go back here. As you can see here, if you want to clear this, the currency for clearing is around five. So the currency is um, it 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 really makes you go a long way in terms of clearing, in terms of farming. So doesn't really it, 
it really makes you enjoy the game more with more play time. If you go through the trials and if you go through farming, it's only 10. So again, um, the currency for or the energy system for the battle is really, really good. Okay, so let's go, let's go to the, the summon system. The summon system that they have is you have four dolls and four, four verses. So for dolls, most of the dolls that you get when you start are really good. So you don't really have to farm for dolls. You just have to farm for verses to enhance your current dolls. So if, if you evoke here, I don't have enough. So again, the, the so far, so far in terms of uh, summoning, um, don't confuse yourself. Go for the verses as soon as you get your first five of dolls or first six. Then um, continue to improve on, you know, on the dolls that you have existing. Okay, and what else? So we have here your depot is going to be your um, inventory. Your quests here are just daily rewards for quests. You have an archive, you have your store. Um, a little bit more icons on top. And these are your currency for the store as well. These is kind of your gold here. The coin. And uh, let's go through... The bond system is basically your your relationship with all of the characters here or all of the dolls here. So um, in, uh, increasing your relationship with them um, get, gets you, you get to have um, a lot of uh, items here. Then that's it. So I would suggest that you only only gift those who you are using from this time and um again this game is 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 if you if you, if, if i give it a, an overall rating i would really give it right now a 7 out of 10 um it's not something is special with this game but they kind of short change the design of um of the story the puzzle is actually the better part of it the the battle system and the bat and the gameplay is not so um during the exchange damage exchange i really really not interested in the way they designed it and hopefully they could you know do better and probably do some tweaks in in changes in the game so when you are here in the town in Litoris, you can also do some interactions here and uh could gain some items but that's it very simple game i wish they had you know they had improved the battle system um again uh design for the game is actually i think uh more than above average and i hope that they would change the battle system i'll try to continue to play this game and i'm still contemplating on creating more content for the game but those are my first impressions of the game um if you guys want to play this type of game and if you are interested for me i think this is worth your time and worth uh playing uh, there's a possibility that this is going to be a free to free to play friendly game because you don't need to collect as much dolls you just need to customize and collect verbs so that your dolls would be, you know, would go stronger. And I think it's going to be a good game for free to play. Um, for those who, who who want to invest in the game, I think it's it's a solid investment as well. And that is it. So so far, those are my first first impressions. So. If you have any comments on the game, please do share them so that um, those who would read them would be able to get more idea from you guys. And that is it. So thank you guys for staying this far. So hopefully you have um, gotten something out of this first impressions video. And um, see you in the next one, guys. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.